things are going smooth for you. Everything's okay. You're happily married. You've got a kid or two, mashallah. And things are, you have a decent income, mashallah. You can afford a break to a holiday destination of your choice now and again, mashallah. You can fly out to Umrah once a year, alhamdulillah. You can do a lot. That's when the test becomes bigger. Things are smooth. تعرف إلى الله في الرخاء يعرفك في الشدة Get acquainted with Allah at the time of ease That's when you have to sit and prove that you're a true believer When I had my difficulty I cried to Allah He removed me from difficulty I forgot Him When I wanted goodness I cried to Allah He gave me the goodness When I got it I forgot Him Is that fair? But now that I've gotten what I have and I'm leading a life that's okay, Allah says, لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ If you're going to be grateful, I'll grant you increase in many other things, in blessings and in so much more. And if you're ungrateful, then my punishment is severe. I may take away what I've given you. Take a look at this. So Allah gives you something you cried for. You've got it. You started earning MashaAllah, you have everything. If you were sliding into sin as a result of it and you started missing your salah, you notice your dress code was MashaAllah and now it's becoming Astaghfirullah, you know, you notice for example, your connection with Allah is diminishing. And then you start saying things and doing things that portray arrogance. Guess what? That's called ingratitude. Allah gave you and you're drifting away. That ingratitude, Allah says, the first thing we do, we snatch away what's known as barakah, blessings. So you might still have the millions, but you can't sleep and you can't, you have no good relations. You're not happy. You're not content. You had a holiday. You have your own yacht and your own plane and you have your own island, mashallah, somewhere across the oceans of the globe and it's all yours, but you're just not happy. Why? Go back to supplication. Learn to raise your hands to the king of kings, the owner who owns you. And he is closer to you than your jugular vein. The one whom you are going to return to. All you've got to do. Put your head on the ground for him and tell him. Oh Allah, I thank you. I am still your slave. Even though you've given me whatever I have. That which I didn't even ask you for. You've given it to me. All of us. All of us without exception. Allah's given us things we did not ask for. But they were blessings. That's why Allah says. Ulul al-bab. He uses the term ulul al-bab. He says the pondering over the creation of Allah, the favors of Allah, the night and the day and whatever else it may be, is a sign of those who have sound intellect. They are intelligent. 